CFO Jatin Dalal stepped down only to join rival Cognizant weeks later. Chief Growth Officer or CGO Stephanie Trotman, who resigned on December 8th. CEO and MD at Wipro, who has been struggling to turn around the business since he took over in July of 2020. Looks like nothing is going good with Wipro. The top management is exiting the company. The growth of the company is slowing down. Along with that, the profits are declining in the last three quarters. And that is the reason a lot of people are worried. The employees are worried. The top management is worried. And even along with that, the investors of the company are also worried. Wipro, which was started by Mr. Azim Premji, was one of the fastest growing IT company in India. But still, it is facing a lot of headwinds and issues. We are going to discuss that in our today's video. Everything started when Stephanie was brought by Wipro CEO as CGO, Chief Growth Officer, to ramp up the new clients and work closely with on-ground sales and marketing team. Recently, there was a restructuring that was carried out in Wipro, creating strategic market units and that is the reason there were a lot of internal clashes between the top management and this can be one of the reasons of Stephanie's exit as the CGO, Chief Growth Officer. This is very interesting because Wipro has not even won a single mega deal in the last three years since the CGO was hired. Whereas if you look at Wipro's three direct rivals, they managed to bag nine big deals which are worth more than $1 billion in the contract value. The three direct rivals are TCS with five mega deal win, Infosys with three mega deal win and HCL Tech with one mega deal win. Now let me tell you guys that all these deal values are more than $1 billion. Now you might be thinking why winning all these multi-year deals is important. These multi-year deals give the IT companies a short revenue every year. On the other hand, if you look at the salaries that are backed by these top IT CEOs, you will find that Wipro CEO Thierry Delaporte is getting the highest salary among all the IT companies at 82 crore rupees. On the second position, Infosys CEO is getting 56.45 crore of salary per year. And on the third position, you have HCL Tech CEO with 28 crore salary. Now important point here to notice that TCS CEO is getting the lowest salary compared to the top four companies. From this, you might have already identified that even the CEO of Wipro is getting the highest salary, but still the growth is not very good. A lot of freshers from the 2021 batch, 2022 batch and even 2023 batch are waiting for more than two and a half years to get their joining letters. They have been waiting and waiting and waiting. Still, they are not getting any kind of joining. Even if they try to communicate with the HR or the support team for onboarding, they do not reply to them. So this is the issue that all the freshers are facing right now. So we just want to tell all of you guys that please look for different opportunities now. Start applying to different jobs on LinkedIn, on Nokri and other platforms that you can utilize. I will give all the links in the description box. You can also join the Telegram group that we have. We have more than 2000 people who are actively seeking for jobs in that particular group. We also have an Instagram handle. You can go and follow us on Instagram as well for regular updates about the videos and the posts that we do online. With this, I have a small request. Guys, please subscribe to our YouTube channel because that will help us a lot. Thank you again for watching this entire video. Hope you all have a great day ahead. And if you have any doubts, please ask in the comment section. We will happily answer all your questions and all your doubts. If you want us to create any video on any particular topic, then we will do the research and we will create the video accordingly. Just let us know the topic in the comment section. Thank you again.